Environmental and wildlife advocates are blasting the chairman of the State Natural Resources Board for refusing to give up his seat to make way for an appointee of Governor Evers. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Thank you, Gail. Fred Prane chaired his second NRB meeting since his six-year term expired May 1st. Former Governor Scott Walker appointed Prane to the board, which sets policy for the DNR. In April, Governor Evers nominated two new NRB members, but only one has been able to take her seat. The other is sidelined because Prane won't step aside. Several people testifying at Wednesday's meeting called on Prane to step down immediately. This is a despicable political tactic, and it is wrong. Our natural resources are too important to fall victim to politics. But it is neither good nor ethical to hold on to an appointment beyond the expectation with which it was accepted. It smacks of the sort of incivility and political gamesmanship we've seen tearing the fabric of democracy at the national level. It is impossible to view this refusal to vacate at the expiration of a term as anything other than a thumb in the eye of basic decency and expected protocol. Upfront submitted several questions to the NRB for Prane, who is a dentist from Wausau. He told us he is staying on the board because the law allows it and he'll stay as long as he desires. He also gave us this quote. I provide good leadership for the citizens of Wisconsin. I lead the board through difficult debates and consensus. I await Senate confirmation for the appointee. We asked the offices of the Senate Majority Leader and the Senate President when the chamber would take up Governor Evers' nominations, but neither office gave us an answer. President Biden will visit Wisconsin on Tuesday. He'll travel to the southwestern part of the state with Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack to talk about growing rural economies. Senator Ron Johnson seems certain to stir up more controversy tomorrow when he holds an event in Milwaukee questioning the safety of COVID-19 vaccines. Johnson will hold a news conference with a half dozen women from across the country who say they or their children suffered side effects after getting the vaccines. A news release from Senator Johnson's office says the medical community has repeatedly ignored their concerns. According to analysis from the Associated Press, nearly all COVID-19 deaths in the U.S. are among unvaccinated people. Governor Evers is doling out $140 million in federal stimulus funds to tourism and entertainment businesses. Evers says the money will be available for lodging businesses, movie theaters, live event venues, and other tourism and entertainment businesses. Wisconsin's tourism industry is estimated to have lost $4 billion due to the pandemic. Our editorial partner, Wiz Politics, keeps you up to date on news from the Capitol and state politics. You can check out their coverage at wispolitics.com, on the web, and on Twitter. Coming up, the changes you'll see at the Wisconsin State Fair. And they're up and ready.